I'm Channel 8's political reporter Jason Whiteley with more fallout now on Wednesday about President Trump's meeting with Vladimir Putin that happened on Monday. So yesterday, President Trump said he misspoke and shouldn't have used some of the words he did when he was so critical of the intelligence agencies, the constitutional free press, and other American institutions when he was standing side by side with President uh, Vladimir Putin in Helsinki. This morning in Trip Talk, part of the Texas Tribune, one of our media partners, State Rep Jason Villalba published his own, essentially a, an editorial, an op-ed on here, where he says it's time to impeach the president. You can read that on this story in just a moment, but let me show you two specific things I want to point out to you. Uh, Jason writes, our president has mocked and belittled our immigration laws, our intelligence agencies, our foreign policy strategy, and even the American people. We have been called stupid, weak, a joke, and pathetic, all by our own president, Jason Viaba writes. And then, for people who are following local politics, he adds uh, this line in here too. I was one of the only Republican elected officials in the country to plead with the American voters to abandon this charlatan, as he calls the president prior to his election. For my transgressions, Jason says, I was summar summarily rather unelected from the Texas legislature. I have no regrets. I will always uh, do what I believe is right. That is not politically expedient, but it helps me sleep at night. You know that Jason was defeated in the Republican primary by Lisa Luby Ryan, and he's not the only state rep to come out and say something about what the president, uh, his comments and actions when he was uh, with President Putin on Monday. Uh, we, I noticed yesterday on Twitter as well, State Rep Jeff Leach, another Republican, he's from Collin County. Uh, he was going kind of back and forth with a fellow colleague, a Republican colleague named Ron Simmons from Denton County. Uh, Ron was, uh, they, they kind of went back and forth, but, but Jeff says, uh, essentially wrote something, we need to call out the president when he says certain things. Ron comes back and says, uh, hey, you know, Leach for Texas, hey Jeff, with Obama, he said all the right things and did mostly wrong things. But with President Trump, he says many things I don't like, but does mostly what I agree with. I like doers, Ron said, more than talkers. So then Jeff writes back, this was, uh, what is this, overnight, last night on Twitter. Jeff says, touche, but we shouldn't be slow or afraid to call out both dangerous words and dangerous actions, and equally to affirm words and actions that are good and helpful and right. Trump has a long list of good that we should affirm, but I don't believe yesterday is on that list. This was two Republicans going back and forth. And of course, if you missed the outgoing uh, speaker of the Texas House, Joe Strauss, he also had some words uh, on President Trump as well. He says, the president's refusal to condemn Russia's attack on our democracy gravely undermines our country and principles and his posture towards Putin has unfortunately left us more vulnerable. This is about American security and the very foundation of our democracy, which must be protected. Two people we haven't heard, uh, heard from, rather, two other state Republican leaders are uh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who chaired President Trump's campaign in Texas, and the governor of Texas, Governor Greg Abbott. We haven't heard from them at all over the last 48 hours about what President Trump did when he was in Helsinki, Finland.